Hi everyone, it's Cherry Enchantress. I'm here with another pick a card reading at a little park right underneath Pikes Peak. So uh, I decided to do this outdoors. I don't know if I'll be able to get Pikes Peak in the shot the whole time, but I'm gonna try to set this up so it will. Okay, we have three piles here. It took me forever to set this up and it's still got my leg in there but anyways um so that was three <laughs> this is pile number two <laughs> and that is pile number one so let's just do these one at a time pile number one this will be better pile number two and pile number three so make your choice let's just breathe a little bit Blow out, relax, and let's begin with pile number one. And the subject is whispers of nature, love messages. So you get a bell that goes with yours. Oh, I just finished. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. All right, let's see what we've got in here. Okay, here we go, pile number one. So pile number one, we have let go of control issues from the romance angels. So it's just saying, allow it to unfold naturally. This is something, not anything that you can like really force to happen. It's like the angels are taking care of it in this background, okay? So just relax, it's gonna be okay. The angels got control of this. So in the meantime, just do something for someone else, you know, like give attention to somebody else when you're an other thinker that helps you get out of your situation and then it helps you attract to attract the beautiful things in your life by giving you receive. And then we have the seven of pentacles. This is kind of like the time to let to sit back and watch things grow and let things ripen because that peach hasn't got into that full ripe juiciness not quite yet but it's getting there <laughs> and then we have a silver lining so yeah um there is promise in this situation there's going to be a pot of gold at the end of that rainbow so to speak and a silver lining like sometimes strange things happen that we don't expect them to happen but there's in this case, there's going to be a silver lining. All right, and then you also got the key, which is all about success and and opening things up. So um, also closing things too, like maybe locking something that you need to keep safe, but also opening something or getting to know something or learning a secret or or having a success in some kind of achievement or something like that. And then we also have Hope Big Water. So this is a much like the, the moon card. Maybe this full moon is going to bring you a beautiful change of consciousness, you know, change of feeling like things are going to get better. Because I feel like your message here, your love message is um, just let go, um, have faith. There's going to be success here. Have hope, you know. Um, and just kind of like do what you've been doing, care about other people like you do so well. It's still not yet ripe. I know some people are anxiously waiting for the ripening, but it's not quite there yet. It's getting there though. Okay. There's a silver lining here. Let's see if I can possibly do charms. I got a new little container for my charms, but I don't know if this is going to work. I'm just gonna pull one, one or two charms. Good. So what you got? Oh, you got the whisk. You got the cheese, cheese, and you've got love. Yay! And you've got the boat. So a possible trip. Maybe a navy guy. Somebody likes cheese. Maybe this is alluding to cooking later together as a couple. Maybe taking some class or something like that. Yeah, so have hope. Um, good things to come. Um, but
but I think this is I love you message here, you know, and let's whisk this thing up, you know, it won't be long, the ripening is happening, and then I'll be able to come to you kind of thing, okay, all right, on to the next, okay, here's pile number two, let's see what we got, all right, so from your um, romance angels, you got wedding, so this situation involves a marriage. So maybe um, your love message has to do with somebody wants to marry you, you know, or, you know, they see you as their wife or husband, but they there's something about this image that's important. Then you've got receive with love and appreciation. You know, it's one thing for this love to come in, but you also have to be able to receive it. You have to just grab it with open arms. But there's high hopes here, high hopes. Um, your beloved saying, the person that's whispering love messages to you is saying, yeah, hang in there, um, you know, high hopes. And look, you're doing great on your own. Money situation's gonna go really good for you. It's like a treasure chest of abundance, but um, I feel like also there is this kind of, um, a gift on this way because I also we also have the bouquet so all these pentacles make me think of a, a gift on the way and a possible proposal or somebody wanting to give you a gift there's a rich good man here who wants to share his wealth with you his bounty who feels like you're his other half kind of thing just like those different colors in the chess game all right so I think this one's very nice. Let's see what kind of... So your messages are kind of about um, be prepared for a gift. There's somebody has something for you, you know, so um, go ahead and open your arms to rece receive, you know. Go, have and, go ahead and have trust that this uh, situation can develop into marriage, you know. And just keep showing your love and appreciation because they really like that. <laughs> All right, let's see what I'm going to try to give up. A couple of charms. All right, so you got the number 28. You've got the two hearts, key to two hearts. You've got this cute little music symbol. Ooh, the divine masculine. So this could be your twin flame. Number two, for lucky clover. The number seven. And it's ooh, 27 and 28, so maybe a date coming up. Maybe a date in Texas. And that's theater under the stars, so it could be like an under the stars kind of thing. You know what would be a fun date? Is a Imaginarium, Imaginarium, or something like that. I keep seeing ads for it. It looks like really exciting. Like you go to the planetarium and that's this whole presentation kind of thing. So it sounds really cool. So maybe you guys like to try that. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next. Okay, last but not least, pile three. I wish I could do more, but circumstances being as they are, it gets a little complicated out here. I hope you appreciate it. I mean, <laughs> I just I just couldn't help it. I wanted to be outdoors and do this. And yeah, I know it's I'm I'm expecting a lot from Mercury Retro Kate <laughs> to be supportive of me out here. Okay. So your romance angels say, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So your message, your love message, whispery love message is free yourself because they or spirit wants you to act as if you are with your partner. You see, and keep constantly imagining that being with so you have to free yourself from this, from your cage, but imagine yourself happy, you know, with your divine one, I guess. The one. So you might have a trip coming up. I think um, um, pile number one had a trip in there. It looked like in their charms. You have three of pentacles. So that's really nice. It's like collaborating, building a statue work of art, being artistic, having a treasure full of bounty and abundance and abilities and good luck and fortune and all of that. Oh, wow. 
So this, the lilies, has to do with sexuality and or <laughs> um, getting advice from an older person. Um, it has to do with winter, so these winter months are about to pass and something new is coming in. There's, this is 30, which reduces down to 3 again. So 3 seems to be important here. So it could be this month of March that something's happening. Now, this wasn't really a timing reading, but this is more of a message, a, a love message. It's not necessarily from your beloved, but a spirit love, um, some kind of message from out there talking about you know, love situation. I feel like um, a, a sensual one is, might be coming in for you. You're going to be give, receiving some kind of gift as well. And it doesn't have to be Christmas. It could be like the next possible holiday. So maybe, um, maybe uh, Easter <laughs> you're going to get yourself some, something special. Or maybe there's going to be some surprise for you. 11-11. Um, in in this month, you never know. So let's do it a couple of times here. So you've got fifteen. You got the little kids, and you have the letter X. Aha! Uh -huh. See, this had free yourself. So we got to make somebody an official X, and and have some wise, deep communication. Somebody will lend a hand to help you, kind of thing. But everything looks like it's going to turn out great, you guys. So I hope you like that. Faith, trust, and pixie dust.